be late for school. My teacher said I don't have to go to school today. Just you? I was just as shocked as you were. <laughs> All right, Cece. Why don't you want to go to school? This kid keeps bugging me. What's he doing? He teases me, he takes my food, he bosses me around. Hey, that's my job. <laughs> Listen, if this kid keeps bothering you, you know you always got your big brother to protect you. Thanks, Michael, but <laughs> you can go to my school. Yes, but Nicholas does. <laughs> me? I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> the kid is only this big. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> I need your help. Oh, man, come on, man. We supposed to be playing cards tonight, man. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, man, it's like... Oh, man, it's better Yeah, Karen was just showing me a few fabric swatches for the couch. What do you think is better, the blue or the green? Which one is cheaper? <laughs> the blue. I love the blue. I love the blue, honey. No, that's... Hey, man, what's the hold up? <laughs> Window, window. <laughs> Rob, who's that fine thing over there, man? That's Jerry. <laughs> the other fine thing, man. <laughs> oh, that's that's Karen, the interior decorator. Uh, Ooh. Karen, this is a window, window, Karen. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come on, man, let's get in here and finish the game. Bids on you. Yeah, I'll be in there. <clears throat> you know, I might need you to decorate the place where I live. She is decorating the place where you live. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we have work to do. Well, you know me, I'm a busy man, Jack. I ain't gonna be in your business. <laughs> when are the bids on you? Right when I get back. I'm gonna be when I get back. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> When's a long time no see? Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I just lost something. Ah. What'd you lose? My Rolex watch. <laughs> Have you seen it, Jerry? No, I've never seen it. <laughs> but if I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right, because I paid $5,300,000 for it. Live right here, Lord of the So, Wendell, did you find your Rolex? Yes, I did. It was under the front seat of my vet. <laughs> Your Chevette? Corvette. <laughs> Jerry Corvette. Window. 96 drop top, black, black on black, I'm black, I'm black. <laughs> 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 So, you a 
picking on my little brother. Well, what are you gonna do now? Nicholas, do that thing Amanda does. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you into tiny little fourth grade meatballs. No, you're not, because he's the man. <laughs> Better be glad I gotta go to class. But I want you here tomorrow after school at 3 o'clock. Oh. And wear something that goes good with a butt ring. <laughs> you know, your brown shirt hangs nice on you. <laughs> I'll get it, honey. That's a uh, window. Right. We're gonna play some ball. Why are you wearing that suit? What, this old thing, Rob? <laughs> Who wears a suit to a basketball game? Pat Riley. <laughs> you see, Karen, Pat Riley and I share the same sense of style. I is that so? That's right. <laughs> Come on, Window. Uh, the ladies have got some work to do. I got you. Here I come. Oh, 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 somebody's paging me. <laughs> It's Bill Cosby. He must have got my number from Bishop Tutu. <laughs> Wendell, what are you doing? Rob, you gotta help me get Karen, man. <sighs> Haven't you given up on Karen yet? She's not giving you the time of day. I think she's playing hard to get. <laughs> I don't think she's playing. <laughs> You're right, man. Come on, man, let's just go play some ball. I mean, it'll make you feel better. No, nah, man, you going without me, man. Uh, I don't think I ever play ball again. I can't eat. I can't sleep. You can't eat? <laughs> I mean, I can eat, but I can only eat, like, certain things. <laughs> Chicken and ribs. <laughs> hot wings. Point is, Rob, I'm in a bad situation, man. I'm in love. <laughs> I don't know, Rob, man. What can I say to make Karen like me? Trust me, man, women like romance. Let's do some role playing. I'll be you, and you be Karen. OK, let me get ready. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Karen. Hi, Wendell. You know you fine. I want you to be my man. Come on, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. This is role playing, not Fantasy Island. Uh, okay, picture this. You're alone with Karen. Luther's on the CD, and you look her in the eyes, and you say what? I'm a freak, baby. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no, just just give her some flowers and candy. Rob, I'm not a flower and candy type of guy. What kind of guy are you? I'm a Humphrey Bogart type of guy. Since when? Since I saw him in the movie last night. He didn't have no flowers, no candy. All he had was a strong game. <laughs> I'm Little Richard, and I never want no credit. <laughs> Whatever. Of all the clubs in the world, she had to walk into mine. I fell for it, see? I fell for her hard. I know how you felt. That's how I felt when I didn't get my credit. <laughs> you played it for her, Sam, now. Play it for me. I'm not playing nothing. I'm tired of being ripped off. Michael Jackson, me. Prince, me. RuPaul, definitely me. <laughs> Shut up. 
You shut up, Sam. Now you trying to rip me off. I say shut up. You shut up and play the song. I'm not playing nothing. Grammy. Play the song. Grammy. Play the song. Grammy. <laughs> I know you'll be back. I know you're a substitute teacher. I know you don't have a Rolex watch. I know your car is at Chevette out there with a boot on it. <laughs> but I'm crazy mad for you. Crazy, I tell you. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> he said that to everybody. Play a song, Richard. I'm not playing nothing. Play the song, Richard. Play the song. Wendell, it only works out that way in the movies. I mean, you're not Humphrey Bogart. You're you, Wendell Wilcox. The best thing you can do is be yourself. I am being myself. I'm trying to get you to do stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. Nick, here's your laundry. Thanks, Arya. Mm -hmm. Michael, which one of these shirts would be easy to get blood out of? Blood? What? Is there something we should know about Nick? No, it's just a normal day. Go to school, eat lunch, get your butt whipped, and come home. <laughs> what do you mean, get your butt whipped? I have to fight the big brother of the kid that's messing with Cece. Michael, what are you doing at 3 o'clock? Three. My band's rehearsing, man. Sorry, I can't miss it. The kid's only this big. Ah, oh, man, it's not like we're hoodie on the blowfish or anything. I'm there, dude. Thank you. You know what? This is so pathetic. Typical male reaction. Why do guys always have to resort to fighting to solve their differences? Because we don't have time to sit around waiting to exhale. <laughs> you know, Michael, I am so surprised that a smart guy like you would stoop to violence. Come on, Zaria. There's a time in every man's life where he's got to put his fists up and throw down. You? Don't you mean throw down your books and run? <laughs> you want me there at three, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I see you're right on time for your butt whooping. Actually, there's been a little change of plans. What are you talking about? I think the question is, what are you talking about? <laughs> Meet my big brother, Michael. Your big brother? Yeah, you would know him if you ever been to prison. Well, I, I don't want to fight him. I want to fight you. Well, we're a pack, Steve. That's right. Mess with my little brother, you mess with me. So what's it going to be? Man, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's right, kid. Hey, bro, you really look me. Yeah, you know, prison will do that to you. <laughs> Have you guys seen Cece? I was supposed to pick her up. Zarya, you missed a wonderful fight. You guys fought. No, nah, they backed down real fast. That's a good thing for them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, congratulations. You settled your differences under the threat of violence. You should be very proud. We are. <laughs> Man, Nick, I wish they hadn't backed down so quick. It's been a long time since I gut punched somebody. You know, be like, boom, like, boom, you know, gut punching. Boom. Why don't you try it now, punk? Huh? What? Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I'm his older brother, chump. All right. Well, did my little brother tell you I was in prison, punk? <laughs> I don't remember seeing you there. Go ahead and go punch your Michael. He ain't that big. Cause you was a bad. All right. Got myself into this. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. 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 What are you guys doing? You you guys are still fighting. Do you even know what you're fighting about? Yeah, their little brother was messing with our little sister. What? So you jump right to a confrontation? Well, did any of you big brothers even bother to talk to the little kids? Well, that's right. No, you didn't. Well, if you had, you would have found out that they settled their differences. <laughs> Thanks for the Twinkie, Daniel. It was delicious. Hey, 
Anything from a girlfriend. Girlfriend? See, see, I thought this kid was bugging you. Well, that's just his way of saying, um, the ball. <laughs> Karen's in there alone, man. You gotta help me. I helped you already. I even paid the late fee on that suit you rented. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Go in there and talk for you? That'll work. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> hey, Karen. Hey, Robert. Uh, Jerry's out buying some fabric. Uh, yeah, I, I heard. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, how many years have you been a, uh, a designer? Mm, about six. Do you play the piano? Do do you do you get happy in church? Oh. oh. What does your husband do? Oh, I'm not married. Ah. ah. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not at the moment. No. I can't believe a, a woman as attractive as you doesn't have a boyfriend. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of qualities do you like in a man? Oh, um, kindness, uh, good sense of humor, interesting job. Like a teacher? A teacher? Yeah, I guess I could like a teacher, yeah. Yeah. I think a teacher would be a good catch for someone as intelligent as you, even if it was something that he did on the side. On the side? Robert, what are you getting at? Well, let me be honest with you, and don't say anything to anybody, but someone here thinks you're very special. <laughs> well, why doesn't that someone just come right out and say it? Because these things are never easy, and he's afraid of making a mistake, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Robert, I think I do know what you're saying. Hey, 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 Jerry. Yeah? I think you're a really nice person, but I can't work here anymore. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Things are going so well. I cannot work here because... Well, someone's been coming on to me, and it's making me very, very uncomfortable. I understand. Wendell, get, get in here! Paul? Uh, Wendell, will you please stop bothering Karen? No, Wendell is not the one that's been hitting on me, Jerry. It's your husband. What? Karen, I know Robert, and he would never do anything like that. Am I right, Robert? <laughs> you <laughs> Wendell, would you explain to her what's going on here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Player Hater of the Year? <laughs> you wanted me to wait so you can have Karen all to yourself? What? All to himself? Wendell, you're the person that Robert said is interested in me? Hey, why you gotta say it like that? I'm just surprised. Well, it's true. I mean, I think you all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Big bag of chips. <laughs> kind of lasts a whole football game. Thank you, Wendell. To be honest, I just never thought of you as my type. Maybe that's because you haven't met the real Wendell Wilcox. I mean, I was, I was afraid if I was myself, you wouldn't like me. You know, that is the first honest thing you've said since I met you. Well, I can see why you would be interested in a guy like me. I mean. A big night to me is pizza and a Bruce Lee movie. I love Bruce Lee movies. Really? Oh, yeah, especially End of the Dragon. What? Oh, no, man, he must have killed about 500 guys in that movie. Remember this? It's like a finger pointing to the moon. <laughs> Don't, Don't concentrate, concentrate on the finger! <laughs> stop, you stop. Stop. Oh, man, I love that. I mean, I mean. What? They're playing the game of death at the Village <gasps> Theater. I mean, I don't want to rush in today. I mean, it's your world, Black Queen. Oh, man, game of death. I am there. Jerry, go right ahead. <laughs> Let's go. Get your purse, get your purse. Yeah, bro, get your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You got it. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. 
What just happened here? Sweetheart, I think we just witnessed the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> you know what else? What? Wendell's gone and we have the entire house to ourselves. Mm. Well, um, mm -hmm. why don't we uh, head upstairs, mm -hmm. light some candles, mm -hmm. and put on some Little Richard. Little Richard? <laughs> couldn't get on that plane. I know you'll be back, baby pop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're a substitute teacher. I know you don't have a Rolex watch. I know that's your vet out there. I know that's your car. Play that song, Sam! If you play that song, Sam, come on, play that song! Mike Tyson, me! What? <laughs> <laughs> 